so we were discussing about the different job choices which you have right so uh, now let us look at what is the difference between the mtech me ms mba and phd okay so here we have mtech mtech we have me we have ms we have phd and we have mba okay now mtech was basically uh, in case of mtech you will have somewhere around one and half year of studies and then half year of research in general uh, this is the uh, difference see in case of mtech mtech is most basically designed as a job oriented course right so most of the iits whether it is iit delhi iit bombay iit kanpur or all these iits they of offer the mtech program but iic bangalore offers M me program right so me program in case of me you can expect somewhere around one year of research one year of studies and you will be spending one year of time in research right but actually this is uh, this is not the uh, major difference nowadays there is no difference between mtech and me because in most of the universities most of the courses they are following the same pattern in the same the same syllabus right so no one can actually tell what is the difference between mtech and me but you can say mtech is more of a professional course and me is more of a engineering services course where you are going to study the core subjects only right so uh, let us in in iic bangalore iic bangalore offers me program and iits generally offer mtech program okay in case of me again you are going to study the core computer science subjects only but in case of mtech you may be having some subjects which are more uh, oriented towards job right so in case of ms what happens is you have you will be having one year of studies you will be having one year of studies plus one and half year of research right so one and a half year of research right it is it is also called as mini phd it is also called as mini phd see this research time can also increase do not necessarily mean that you you have you will complete your research in one and a half year it may take you it may happen that you are going to take two years just to complete your research right so ms program somewhere varies between two and a half year to three years in india iits offer ms program for example iit madras iit delhi they have ms program in place okay now next is the phd you already know what is phd it will take somewhere around at least 3 years uh, to complete your phd at maximum somewhere around 9 years but on an average people complete their phd in fourth fourth year to fifth year right and you already know mba mba is master of business administration which is again a uh, business domain or you can say an administrative domain so if you are not interested in doing anything uh, technical uh, you want to take a break from the technical side then you can also study mba okay see it all depends on the personal choice only again mbas there are different branches in mbas you can have mba in finance you can have mba in information technology you can have mbas in different domains also for example in some companies uh mostly software companies if you have done btech in it or btech in computer science then again you can do mba in it there's a program called mba it which is for the people who want, who are looking to get project management jobs in software companies okay so uh, this is a basic difference but not actually uh, not necessary uh, you can focus like this you can also do msc uh, for msc you will be giving the jam examination see what happens is in case of in whenever if you get into iits for ma M M tech or ms or uh, m tech or ms or me in any of the courses uh, if a company comes uh, for recruitment then all of you are basically eligible you only have to satisfy their basic criteria for the job does not matter whether you are doing an ms course ms M ms course or msc course or m tech course all of you can apply into the same companies you get equal job opportunities right so uh, it all depends on uh, what is your future goals again okay so uh, i've discussed lot of things here now we have to discuss about the private companies also i said there are three kinds of private companies there are tier 1 companies tier 2 companies and tier 3 companies in case of tier company tier 1 companies we get uh, this uh, companies like amazon facebook uh flipkart 
we have uh, Google, Microsoft, etc., etc. Right. So these companies are basically tier one companies, and most of the cases, if you see, see, I've, I've taught students from uh, different universities. I've taught students from Pennsylvania. I've taught students from Waterloo universities. These are basically uh, the universities which are in the Ivy League of uh, international uh, universities. But in most of these universities, uh, only these kind of premium companies come. Right. So they in in US they pay a very good amount. Right, so they pay somewhere around forty thousand to seventy thousand dollars to an average fresher, or you can say an average candidate. But also some companies also pay somewhere around one lakh dollars per year. Right, so this is this is per year. Right, in US, uh, in Pennsylvania universities or all these universities, right. So even if you go to Harvard or you go to uh, Stanford, they pay somewhere around this much this much amount of. a uh, salary so 40000 rupees per annum is the base amount that is the minimum amount they get get but in case of india in case in, in india's they pay somewhere around 18 lakhs rupees per annum to 23 lakh rupees per annum right so per annum for freshers for freshers okay so where uh, the people generally call amazon as a pay master because amazon pays uh, a very high salary as compared to other ones right so even if you if you have must have heard that an iit delhi uh, uh, iit delhi student or dtu student or nsit student or students of generally from iits they get a very high salary package of somewhere around 80 lakhs uh, per annum 95 lakhs per annum 1 crore rupees or 1.3 crore rupees per annum and so on so all these companies only these kind of companies pay this kind of packages okay so tier 1 companies are also called as product based companies some people have named named this term that these are product based companies because they develop their own product for example amazon is having its own product of uh, microsoft is having is its own product and so on but when we say the tier 2 companies companies like oracle right so or ibm so they comes under the tier 2 companies and in case of tier 2 companies there is generally pay a salary package of somewhere around um, where, which is average salary package of 12 lakhs per annum Average salary package of twelve lakhs per annum. The salary generally ranges from eight lakhs per annum to sixteen uh, lakhs per annum, right? And the third one is uh, what we call as service-based companies. For example, we have IBM Services, we have IBM Services, or we have Infosys, or we have Wipro, right? We have Tech Mahindra, and so on. These companies are the sub, uh, tier th- uh, three companies. These are tier three companies. and this company uh, pay salary package somewhere around 3 lakhs per annum to 6 lakhs per annum to an average fresher right so uh, there is a difference between these three kinds of companies and it matters a lot uh, in which kind of companies you get so as as uh, you must have seen you must have heard this term that there is something called as a relevant experience and there is something called as a concept of bench right so uh, th- these are all these th- all the terms which we need to discuss at later point of time okay when when i get time then uh, i'll discuss it but if you search on youtube then you can find lot of videos which uh, where people are discussing about this all these uh, dis- different terms okay so see a simple google search will result in everything okay so uh, I'm, i'm creating this video just because uh, there are uh, i did not find lot of videos on youtube uh, just who uh, where they are discussing all these uh, 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 things for the student but uh, i think this will uh, if this helps helps you then let me know okay so uh, you can find lot of videos for example here in uh, narsimha karwanchi sir also he also discussed about the tier 1 tier 2 and tier 3 companies you can search on google you can search about him you can search career monk also then you can discuss you can check all these uh, details and what are the basic uh, interview criteria for tier 1 companies what are the questions kind of questions they will ask for tier 1 tier 2 and tier 3 companies and so on right so i'll just write the name it is uh, you will search about narsimha karumanchi if you search this name then uh, you will find a video about how to uh, get selected in these kind of companies and what are the basic interview criteria uh, he's he's uh, the author of eight major books of computer science okay so uh, you already know this now we have covered this we have covered this we have covered all these things in detail i can discuss about each and everything in detail uh, it uh, it all matters it uh, uh, say 
if you find this content useful then only i will discuss about it right so or you can just do a simple google search that will also tell the same thing but if you need more details about all these things just let me know i will try to help you out with everything you can just email me at any point of time so my email id is lectures by himanshu lectures by himanshu at gmail.com you can email me at uh, this email id or you can email at the institution's email id also which is daac daac at the rate outlook dot in right or you can email at admin at the rate gate lectures dot com right so i will be available i read most of the emails right so uh, you can check about, about all these companies at later point of time right so uh, i think that's it for today uh, let me know if you need any other information i'll try to help and fine what else is remaining we have discussed about the psus also uh, i can give you a list of psus and what are uh, at what time they release the forms okay fine and secondly uh, you can also contact me on whatsapp this is my number i will write it here it is Nine five six zero two six four two three seven. You can contact me on WhatsApp if you need any other information, right? And if you have any other course-related inquiries, that is video lectures for gate or video lectures for ASE for any branch, whether it is mechanical, civil, electrical, or computer science, then you can also email me for that also. Okay, uh, I think that's fine.